Hello everybody and welcome back to Poison Mushroom, the show where I play some of the shittiest games of all time. This week, I'm playing House MD, a game based on a TV show, so you know it's gotta be good. I mean, I know I'm going into this biased based on the nature of my show, but has there ever been a good video game based on a TV show? I mean, here we have House MD, Craze Anatomy, not to mention all the fucking game show games I covered earlier in this season, going back all the way to like Hollywood Squares and Double Dare on the NES. They always always suck. But hey, maybe there will be some of Hugh Laurie's trademark humor and maybe we'll actually learn something. Alright, so we're introduced to our soon-to-be tow-ticketed windbag, Henry Richter. Oh god, this doesn't bode well. Old man in the middle of the Malaysian jungle. Whoa, my god, what the fuck? He's, he's firing his laser! Oh, look at their fucking faces. House is like, oh my god, I'm so hungover. Alright, so let's see what's wrong with him. Examine the patient carefully and look for any signs of illness. He's old! Here's your problem, the wrinkle's so deep I can see through to your cerebral cortex. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Dude, you got chest herpes, man. What kind of weird shit are you into? Alright, so now we can engage him in some of our trademark banter. Dude, you gotta stop drinking on the job. This is the last image I wanted staring me in the face for like five minutes during this medical procedure. Yeah, this guy's in pretty good shape for an old man, although his belly button kind of looks like a goateed guy speaking to me. Let me out! Oh, he has a rat bite. Well, that might fucking explain it. Hey, who cares if Henry Richter's a gay Taliban supporting witchcraft endorsing meth addict? Not me. <laughs> Trademark house completely destroying people's careers. What a guy. Oh! I gotta say, this is a pretty good likeness for those characters. I mean, I would probably still have intercourse with that version of Olivia Wilde. Please. So I'm really glad I bought this game so I could play a glorified version of Hangman. Let's see, what could the disease be? It looks like tuberculosis? Wow, I am so smart! Alright, well, apparently it was not tuberculosis, what could it be then? Um, avian flu. Well, again, I'm a genius. Well, they shot down avian flu, so I guess this game is just coming up with results and then house shooting them down. You know, to be fair, that's actually pretty accurate with the TV show, although it doesn't exactly make for engaging gameplay. Let's see why malaria isn't what he actually has. Does he have yellow fever? Isn't that when you have a fetish for Asian girls? Jesus, he's gonna have to buy a new whiteboard after this is finished. Oh, and of course the one I can't pronounce is the one that actually ended up being the winner, so we're gonna run some tests now. Something stinks here, and it isn't just Henry's colostomy bag of <laughs> making fun of an old man who has Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. What a class act! Alright, here we begin the all-important blood-taking minigame. Pick up the tourniquet, wrap it around, all with realistic one-to-one -one movement of the mouse. Really should have released this on connect or move. Move the butterfly needle slowly, slowly, oh god! Oh, gotta put the bandage on, alright, that's usually something he could probably do himself, but... I understand you're being thorough, I wonder if I can complete this minigame, it's pretty difficult. Oh, phew. Look at how happy Henry is to just have his blood be taken, he must have put some morphine in his IV drip. Is it possible for an animated character to be slutty? Because she's showing a lot of cleavage for the director of a hospital. I can't believe the faces on these guys. Look at the guy on the left, it looks like they caught him just after he finished his sneeze. Because of this close-up, I'm guessing the game designers really prided themselves on their scruff technology. And their receding hairline technology, apparently. Dude, stop smiling, you're freaking everybody out. Olivia Wilde's gonna transfer. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm not sure I'm ready for this. I think I can see into his kidneys. Shit, dude, this doesn't look good, you got a bunch of triangles in your lungs, I'm gonna try to take him out. I love this kind of like surf pop that they've given us for this lung biopsy where we might find out he has fucking cancer. I mean, I realize that this is supposed to model a real medical procedure, but it would be nice to have some kind of in-game map to make my gameplay experience better, because this is just tedious. I can't tell where the fuck I am inside of this dude's lungs. Jesus, I've spent so much time on this procedure, I think I might actually be qualified to be a real doctor. Like seriously, what the hell am I looking at? It looks like I'm looking at the inside of a fleshlight. Oh my god, one more time, you gotta be fucking kidding me. How could this dude breathe? He had like 30 tumors in his lungs. Dude's gotta get some goddamn proactive or something going on up here. I can't do this every time. Oh fucking have mercy, hour 15 of the lung biopsy, looking for the last remaining anomaly. And Mr. Richter just say, ah, uh, for about 45 fucking minutes. We'll be in and out, I promise. Jesus, I know, I never thought it would happen, but I'm starting to feel like I actually might run out of time. Well, apparently, House MD is actually the hardest game ever made. Dark Souls be damned. Uh, I just cannot find this last anomaly, so I guess time's gonna fucking tick down on me unless I make a miracle on 34th Street here. Oh my god, I found it on the last second. Ugh. Oh, actually got my heart pounding there. See, Henry, that wasn't so bad. What are you talking about? I just aged two years. 
Olivia, have you ever noticed that you have a beautifully alien-shaped head? Oh my god, we actually have to spin the centrifuge ourselves. As someone who has used a centrifuge in real life, I assure you this is not how it works. It's all in the capable hands of our robot overlords. Oh my god, my fucking wrist is gonna fall off. I can't get it going that fast. This is too fucking fast. It's now ruined. I ruined the sample. Maybe if you're worried about ruining the sample, have it be run by the machine itself. I seriously have no idea how to do this. Spinning this mouse is the sorest my forearm has ever been, and I was a 15-year-old boy once. Oh my god, who thought this was a good idea? Look at I've gotta fill that meter on the right side, shit's impossible. Hold it, stay on target- Oh my god, I can't believe I actually made it work. That was the worst minigame I've ever played in any game in my entire life. Whoever designed and approved that minigame should be publicly executed on the steps of Valve HQ. And again, another thing doctors do, right? Like, open up their blood processor and mess with the valves and motors themselves. Well, here we go, now I've gotta spin two motors at the same time and keep them within that RPM range. I fucking doubt it. You know, there's a reason they make batteries. I wish I was joking when I said that my forearms are actually sore from doing this. Alright, so now we gotta find the objects and the game continues to oscillate between maddeningly impossible and just fuck me in the ass easy. Come to think of it, that might not be an appropriate adjective. At least according to the Oxford English Dictionary. That petri dish at the top actually looks pretty delicious. I could really go for some sunny side up eggs right now. I'd never wanted to see that scene as long as I lived. Okay, so now I've got to ask Henry's producer about his secret, his sex life, or his diarrhea. Sadly, I think diarrhea seems like the most appetizing of these options. Does Henry work around any respiratory irritants like silicone? What I mean is, are your breasts real? <laughs> Sexually harassing a woman he just met! This guy's the greatest! House looks like the David after the dentist viral video. Is this real life? Alright, so now I'm stalking his house to try to find out what the fuck is wrong with him. Breaking and entering in a celebrity's home. What a catch! That is one of the angriest bears I have ever seen in my entire life. You know, I used to work for Coca-Cola. Shut up, Grandpa! You know, there used to be a button on me and you'd press it and I would say, SHUT UP! Well, this looks like a hard puzzle. Four fucking pieces. Oh, well, here's the dirty secret. They weren't filming in Malaysia, they were doing it on a soundstage. Just like the moon landing. Right, guys? Right? House, I'm not sure this is really appropriate. So I just asked her how much she uses the bathroom. Yuck! I try really hard not to use the bathroom. I go maybe once a week? Oh my god, find nine clues on the globetrotting soundstage that may lead to a diagnosis for his condition. I feel like I'm playing CSI New York again. At what point is it not collecting and instead it's just stealing company property? I kid you not, my instructions for this minigame are wipe the bottom of this statue to clean it off. Heart pounding action. Okay, I'll say it. Henry has a new strain of AIDS that could only be found in Malaysia. <laughs> oh, telling the man that he's terminally ill. You really crack me up. There is absolutely no comment I could add to this scene now that would make it any better than it already is. Seriously, what is wrong with this old man? Alright, now that we know he hasn't been to Malaysia, we gotta figure out what kind of local disease gave it to him. Which is funny, because I don't see living in New Jersey as one of these diseases, which is what it clearly is. Babesiosis? That sounds like a disease made up by Wayne's World. Oh my god, I had a fucking feeling this video was gonna end with me failing a centrifuge minigame. God damn it! So what's my diagnosis of House MD? Better than terminal bowel cancer, but slightly worse than getting kicked in the groin for 45 minutes. As always, thank you guys for watching Poison Mushroom. This has actually been the last episode of this season, but I'll be back soon with more shitty games. I hope you guys will continue to enjoy the series. As always, if you enjoy this video, a like or a favorite is appreciated. But in any case, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Season 1. I gotta say, this is a pretty good likeness for those characters. I mean, I would probably still have intercourse with that version of Olivia Wilde. Please.